This junction box contains the power coming from the breaker, a cable running down to a switch, and two cables going to the lights and fan. I'll have to add in a second cable so I can turn the lights and fan on and off independently of one another. The box in the bathroom already has space for two switches, so I won't have to be making any changes there. So the switch has two terminals on it, right there and right there. We got two wires running down to go to the switch, so all we got to do is strip the ends some. Alright, so the wires are stripped. I just uh, turned little loops on the ends of them, which if my wire was a little bit longer, I could potentially reach in and grab with my pliers and squeeze it together. There we go. Alright, and you want the wire to wrap around the same direction that screw goes in. Alright, so the switches are both in the box, both wired. Alright, so everything's pretty much set to go. I'm going to be using some lever nuts here to connect this stuff up. Rather than using wire nuts because I just really don't care for wire nuts. They don't ever seem to work very well for me. Uh, first things first, let's feed these wires through the little clampy doodads which, uh, yeah, easier said than done, I guess. And hadn't anticipated that to be such a trick. There we go. Alright. And then this is the newly installed switch. And we'll just feed that in there. Alright. So we've got switch, switch, power in, and two powers out. So, first things first, let's strip the housing, which, uh, yeah, that's not working so well. I'm caught on something. And I don't know what. Oh, I'll say, mate, I don't know what I'm caught on. There we go. There's some paper. And almost done. There we go. All right. And because I haven't uh, put a disclaimer in this video yet, I don't think I have anyways, uh, if you're actually trying to learn how to do electrical work, do not take your uh, take your classes from me. Because, uh, yeah, I'm not... I am not a professional electrician by any means. You know what I did? I watched some YouTube videos and use that as the basis for what I am doing. So basically what I'm saying is I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm hoping my house doesn't burn down. Okay, it's not actually that bad. But uh, I do want to stress I am not a certified electrician and you should not take anything I say to be such. I'm not sure if you can see this but there's a little wire stripping gauge guide thing on the back of the nut here which is really nice actually because it tells me right where I need to strip this wire and that way I don't have extra wire exposed which for obvious reasons you don't want for obvious reasons after I just told you I'm not an electrician and I have no idea what I'm doing. No, but you wouldn't want your wires to short. Now the ground wire is never uh, never housed, sheathed, I don't know, I don't know what the word is. Um, but I'm not to the ground yet. I am dealing with the neutral wire here. Now this the wire nuts want it to be very straight. So I'm just going to kind of straighten it out with a pair of pliers. Now another option of course would be just to cut the wire shorter and then strip a new portion off the end which if this wire was in really bad shape. I would probably do that, but 
that honestly does not look that bad. All right, so I could cut it a little shorter if I wanted. And then I could go recycle that little piece of copper too. And, uh, well, I would not make any money at all recycling it. This one's in a little worse shape, so I may have to cut it and strip a new end. But we'll see. See what I can make happen with these players. Now I actually have another pair of players that would have worked better to straighten this, but uh, I seem to have misplaced them someplace. And uh, my house is so organized right now that I have no idea where I put them. I was probably using them to fix something and then uh, just forgot where I put it. Okay, so to use this you just feed the wire in till it seats, I assume, and then put the lever down. Okay, that seems easy enough. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put all of our grounds in there, or all of our neutrals, rather. Okay, I can see why they tell you to make sure your wires are all straight, because they don't fit in very good if they're not. All right, well, that should work. And we'll just repeat this process for the hots and the grounds uh, well actually the hots will be a little bit different because there's the switches so I'll hook everything up with the switches and then we'll come back and do that hot coming in it needs to connect to both of the switches so I'm going to use this five wire connector and now you might be wondering Nathan why in the world are you using something that has five wires when you only have three and you know what I'm wondering the exact same oh wait no that's right I'm not wondering it's because locally in stores, the only options I could find was the five and the three wire connectors. Or five and two wire, rather. Which I thought was pretty stupid. Because who needs to connect five wires? So I have on order from Amazon a slew of three and five wire connectors. Uh, but they haven't arrived yet. So I'm using what I have. So now. Power coming in is connected here. Both switches have one wire connected to that. Which maybe I should have done the whites, but I don't think it matters. So now I'm using the return wire from the switch. And that goes in here. And that's going to go to this line's positive. And no, I don't know which switch is going to do what. It'll be a surprise. And we're just going to hook the other one up to the same. All right, so this box is done. There's these two red wires. I don't know what they're for. As far as I can tell, they weren't used. This one was, actually. This one wasn't, though. I don't know what they went to, though. So I am just going to... Well, I'll leave them here for the time being. It's possible that this red goes to the hot coming in and there's an outlet in the bathroom underneath the lights and maybe this went to that. I'm not sure. But for now, it's fine as is. Now the fun part of kind of squishing everything back into the box. All right, so it started with a, oh, this will be an easy fix. Turned out to be a very difficult one. So the wire from the box upstairs in the attic comes down here in the bathroom and it comes out and that red wire is used and that's what the switch controls. So that's hooked up to the lights. There was another wire in there that ran down past the mirror to an outlet right here. Well, that outlet only had two wires, so it wasn't grounded. I cut the wire short up here. You can see just the end of it right there because uh, I couldn't pull it through. So I'm going to drill a new hole like here, drop the wire straight down to the outlet, properly ground it. The outlet will always be on. The lights will be controlled by the switch. So yeah, I thought this would be a very easy job and it just keeps getting harder and harder. But time is free. It's not really, but I'm not paying myself, so in a sense it is. 
So then, moving on to installing the new bath fan. The existing fan and the new ones were close to the same size, so I was actually able to reuse the existing hole. The fan has a little electric plate thingy that gets connected to the power, and then the actual fan just plugs right in, making wiring this up really much easier than I had anticipated. All I have to do is connect the three wires and pop the plate back in place. The next step could be the most important part, connecting the exhaust duct. Without one of these, you'll just be blowing the moist air directly into the attic and making a mold heaven up there. I got lucky and already had all the duct work that was needed from the old, non-working fan that had been in the bathroom. The fan just slides straight up in and gets held in place by a screw here and a screw over here. And then the cover just slips right up in place and is kind of locked in by these two tabs over here. It's, it's kind of tricky to put in, but uh, it's not difficult, it's just confusing. Alright, so, so the switch. And I imagine you can hear that. 